disabled. And switch you to just all. I have 98 levels. All right, let's spend some of that. Uh, please go to skills. Please give me health boost. I think that's the biggest one. I only got plus two HP out of that. Does that stack with other? I think it might. I think that might stack with my bracelet. All right, hang on. Let me uh, let me just stuff my face real quick here. Don't think that stacks with my bracelet, unfortunately. I still have 38 levels. Uh, what else can we spend that on? Uh, obsidian shield? Make me fireproof? Eventually make me fireproof takes 20 levels, but I can do it. Uh, 23 levels. What else can we put in? Uh, strong fists. Uh, requires 2,000 XP. Okay. More than I have. Um, bum, 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 bum. Leaper, digging... I suppose I don't need digging or, or, or anything in there anymore. Uh, or mining speed, I suppose. We could degrade this. We don't need this no more. Now you're already down. Uh, you're down. At speed! I'm gonna leave you at really high. Uh, actually, we're gonna prank you. Max out your attack speed, because why not? Um... 900 left. Pop it in there, and we'll put the rest back in the XP box. Alright, all of it goes away. Thank you! Okay, put that away. When did I pick up this backpack? I don't know. We have a lot of backpacks. This is not showing any contents. Which is neat, I suppose. Uh, okay. I was... looking to make some... Heart canisters. I don't think I have any more than the one, so we'll just do ten of these. Ten of these. So I'm pretty sure we got a ton of red red hearts. Okay, do we have any yellow hearts? I do not. Can I make yellow hearts? I cannot. Alright, where is my heart canister? Whoops. Need a heart amulet. We have a ton of these miniature reds, so I don't know what else I can do with them. And then we slap that on my necklace, and we'll have plus 10 hearts. <laughs> so I've got plus 11 hearts now. I think that's dumb, but I've got plus 11 hearts. <laughs> I think I need it though, because there's some apotheosis monsters out there that are just just a giant pain in the focus. One of them almost one-shot me. So it's nice to be able to have a big enough health pool that I don't care anymore. Especially with the additional armor, so I'm, I'm nice and tanky now. Cheeseburgers and overgrowth seeds. These triggers! Alright, uh, I can make... I suppose we should get started on the Endurium Age. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. I need to make, uh, Twinite. This is the big thing, right? Uh, the Chemical Crystallizer requires a Supremium Frame, which means we're gonna need Liquid Hydrogen Chloride. I've got it. I already, I am already making it. So, we're actually kind of partway through some of this already. Uh, let me grab a bucket. Grab a bucket of a brine. Because we actually have a bunch of brine over in this thermal tower. 
I made a full-scale automated thermal tower. It just works uh, at nighttime. Um, bucket. Oh, Brian! Yay! All right, back home. Okay. I'm just following the quest line now. I need another electrolytic separator so that we can make the so-called chemical infuser because they want me to make... Uh, this quest line is literally asking me to do all the things that I did because we want a liquid hydrogen chloride bucket because we need to pour liquid hydrogen chloride on top of this thing. So we need a deconcentrator as well. But for the moment, what we can do... We can pick up this electrolytic separator for the quest and put it back down again. And the PRC, and where is my... Oh, I put it over here. I need this. Okay. I need a... I can stuff that in there because I don't really need it. I need a decondensator. Or a condensator, I guess. Condensator. Rotary condensator. Make me a chemical tank. Make me an energy tablet. And... Okay, and then we'll hook that up to the hydrogen chloride tank here. Uh, we are going to stick it right here instead. And we're going to just bop that here. So you can do the thing. And then we'll run a universal cable over to it. You have power. It's not making a lot very quickly. That's okay. It doesn't have to because we're about to upgrade it. Okay, we need some speed upgrades. Give me a stack. We need some energy upgrades. Give me a stack. We're out of glass. How dare. can slap that down on the condensator. Boop. And... Boop. There she goes. And she's full. That's fine. Let's make a tank. Oh, do I have any tanks left? I have one basic tank. Let's upgrade that to advanced, please. Because those are cheap to make. And then we have an advanced tank full of hydrogen chloride, yeah, uh, liquid hydrogen chloride. Yay! All right, bucket. Left all my buckets behind. Give me a bucket of that, please. Oops. I'm sorry, what? Did you just... I was about to say, did you just delete my... Did you just delete my, my, my thing? <laughs> Alright, so now we got a bucket of liquid hyd hydrogen chloride. Hey. Hey, buddy, it's nighttime. Let's make it daytime so I can see you. And then, uh... See if you got anything valuable. What you got? Uh... Red Runner Feathers. Ooh, Prismarine Shard's not bad. It's oh puffer fish. Do I need puffer fishes? I'll grab those prismarine, I think. We don't have much um, access to prismarine right now. Well, maybe I do. Eh, not a huge amount. Give me um, give me some prismarine. Just give me everything you'll let me trade right now. That wasn't a lot, but it was enough. I'll take twenty-five. Twenty-five ain't bad. I can 
unpack the existing prismarine that I picked up, so that's okay as well. Um, okay, Quest wants me to take this and set up another one of these machine runs, so I may have to make another one of those engines. Because, <laughs> hey look, this thing's one thing, but we're going to have to make another one of these, and it's going to be hilarious. It's doing a, th it's going to do a thing. I have to move these uh, crafters somewhere else. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Give me that. Okay, and give me... <clears throat> give me my wrench. Alright, so we can connect this uh, like over here somewhere. I feel like that may be a good go-to. Uh, you know what? Actually, this would work perfectly for me if we just do this. Thank you. And we just slap this sucker down here. Then we got room for all the crafters that I need. Not there. Not even there. Uh. Okay, hang on. Am I in the right row? Do this row. Um, engine? That's what it was called, right? Uh, motor. Electric motor. Uh, one, two, th three, five, three, one. Like that. And then we'll just grab some cogs and connect it, and then we'll be fine. And in the meantime, we just do this. And we can slap down a barrel like right here. It'll be fine. Excuse me while I put down a barrel and some po uh, more cog wheels. Oh. I'm out of barrels again. Like that. Then we just slap down some extra cog wheels. There we go. Okay, if I need to, I can make some more electric motors. Uh, but one, two, three. Between three of these, we might have enough. Uh, how much are they drawing, anyways? Uh, 240 RF per tick. And they're just pushing a crap ton of energy through this system, like right now. Which is also an excellent decision, I suppose. Uh, we could probably take these generators and hook them up down here instead. But have to reverse them, maybe. But I'm not keen on adjusting them at the moment, so I won't. It's fine where it is. Uh, you, however, are rather empty, so it's kind of pointless to keep them alone. Um... Okay, everything seems to be hooked up. Uh, we can set up a second line over here. So I can take this, just draw it off here. Right? And then we do uh, some more mechanical belt uh, shenanigans. Right, so we'll need some more shafts. Give me all those. Uh, give me the belts. And we'll take a look at what I need to automate in a minute here. I feel like we'll go one more square just so I have room. We can move this. Right? But we have room. Uh, we can... Why not connect this here? Give myself one more square just in case I need more room for stuff. And then we go slap down a belt. And are you going the correct direction? You are, in fact, going the correct direction. Alright, and then we just go bomb. Uh, we might want to run... Maybe, maybe not. Uh, 
So we can do this. Uh, how many... Okay, for one, um, <clears throat> this needs, uh, what is it, six parts? How many does the Supreme Machine Frame take? Uh, again, six parts. We don't need a stamper at the end. Uh, so we'll need, even only need to control five. One, two, three, four, five. So I won't even need a belt on this one. Because if I'm connecting it... Four, five, six. That'll all be on. That's all I need. Uh, so I don't need a stamper in this case. I need one, two, three, four, five deployers and a spout. So let me go set that up. So five deployers and a spout. Start with the spout because I think that's the easiest part. Oh, I need a copper casing. All right. Um. Log. And is it copper? It's copper. Okay, so we got my spout. I need um employer, so I need some pico machine. Which means I need some brass hands. Five more brass hands. Five of these, which means we need some more andesite casings. And this site. We are almost out of andesite again. Oh darn it. Alright. Um let's see. Excuse me real quick while I do this. I'll have enough for what I'm doing right now, but I don't have enough for the long term. So I'm gonna need more. And I need some more electron tubes. How about that? All right. Uh, rose. Give me some rose quartz, shall we? Let's see if this stuff will work. I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, where's my sandpaper? Ooh, I'm almost out of sandpaper. How about that? Yeah, that does work. Cool. All right, let's make some sandpaper. Diamond grit, in fact. Uh, made by crushing some diamonds. Because why not? Uh, crush, because we can do the diamond crush now. I just need some paper from storage. Oh, wait, hang on. I can make a glutton charm, can't I? Warding charm. Uh, sleep charm, portal charm. There's no, there's no gluttony charm in this mod. Oh, they took out gluttony charms. How rude! Oh, fine. So we got my five deployers. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll be before I overload the system again. So uh, let's just find out and see if we can. Uh, assuming I can put these down in the right spot, that'd be great. Uh, now we need to wrench these until they're facing the correct direction.
Hey look, we're overstressed again. Why am I not surprised? Alright, let's make another one of those things. Motor! Alright, let's see, what do we need? Um, Copper spools, which needs copper wires, which needs the rolling machine. <sighs> okay, we will... Um, Temporarily disconnect some things. Um, just do this for a sec. Okay, we want to slap down that rolling machine somewhere, um, and this may I may as well put it down here because this seems like a good enough spot for it. I also realize I don't need to have a shaft on both ends of this. That seems silly. Where's my rolling machine? Oh, you're still overstressed. Oh my god. I'm going to need a lot of things here. Oh. Uh, also, it needs to be copper plates, not copper ingots. Otherwise, I'm going to get something wrong. Right? If I throw this in the rolling machine, I'll get rods, which isn't quite what I wanted. Just give me, like, a stack of copper, and then we'll just get, like, a ton of extra wires. That's fine. Yeah, what else did I need? Capacitors! Just do two of them. Brass sheets. Which I can't do outside of these machines, apparently. Love it. I'll do another stack of those in a second here. Um, I need andesite alloy. Uh, I've got some more mixing up on the other side. And some iron rods. I just need the two, it's fine. Uh, so I just need the copper spools now, which is... Do I have any empty spools? I do have some empty spools. I need three, so I need six, that's plenty. So I just need the copper plates. I'll roll up a stack of those. And while that's rolling, we can do the brass ingots and the stamper. It's going to pull a bunch into here, so that's okay too. Boy, you fill up fast. Give me all your brass sheets, please. Thank you. Alright. I will reconnect this momentarily here. Oh, we're stressed. Yeah, let me just pick up that uh, rolling mill, because uh, shockingly, the rolling mill is a really heavy-duty device. I mean, not the heaviest of duty, but definitely a heavy-duty device. Okay, um... You're doing your thing, you're doing your thing... What can I disconnect that will make things a little bit less bad? How about I borrow you? We're definitely going to need more... Alright, um, so it was, and those rods need to be turned into spools. Well, one too many. Oh well, not the end of the world. Like this, and then this, and then this, and then brass. Did you get that backwards again? I got it backwards again.
faster down there. Bonk. Two more electric motors. That is as hard as they get. Um, Alright, each of these is generating an extra 8,000, which is maybe enough for what I'm doing here. Um, Alright, now, can I connect these and still run the rolling machine. If I can, that'd be great. Perfect. Alright, so that's all working now. Uh, we can hook up some drawers to the setup and we can uh, semi-automate this later. Because, of course, we're not just making one Supreme Machine Frame. We need to make a bunch, because we need a few machines. Uh, I'm going to need that Crystallizer. I'm going to need the ne ne Neutron Activator. Uh, what else am I going to need? Chemical Dissolution Chamber. Do I need that? I don't remember if I need that. Uh, that is for the final tier of ore slurry stuff, so maybe not. But... Uh, Let's see, fusion reactor, oh dear, I might do that later. Black hole tank, digital miner, yeah, see, this is why I didn't make a digital miner, because I didn't have the materials to do it. Make teleporters. Uh, nether star mycelial generator, seems like an excessive level of uh, energy generation. How much do you make? 4,000 per hit, which is not bad. 120 seconds per star, it's not hard to make a, a wither boss killer. A boss, a wither generator. Um, so I guess we could just do like four for now, and then we can work on the rest later. So in which case, we can take all of this stuff away. Um, most of this gets to go away, but uh, what do we need? We need elite control circuits, which is dragon steel. So we're gonna need to make dragon steel and signal them. Not too too hard. Maybe I don't think it is. How do we make dragon steel? Uh, Breath, Appetite, and Netherite. Oh my god. Can I make Netherite seeds yet? Oh, jeez. Uh, I hear... Hi. There's a bunch of you just got stuck over there. I don't know where you came from, but, um, I guess it's a nasty time of day. Why has my Mega Torch stopped working? What happened to my Mega Torch? There's a Mega Torch right here. Why isn't it working? Did I not have one over here? Can I only have one Mega Torch at a time? Because that would suck. And there's so many zombies. That was a blue moon too. What the heck? That's weird. Why are there so many zombies? There, uh, there shouldn't be that many. Oh, nope, don't do that. Uh, I forgot. Uh, I need a tank for that. There's even a Mega Torch right here. Why isn't this one working? Mm, great Plate of Eternity. Protection, Mending, Unbreaking. Wow. The Great Plate of Eternity. Alright, can I make another right seed yet? Or do I need Twinite for that? I need Twinite. 
rude. All right. Well, how much of this can I make? Eleven. I can make eleven of these, and I need to earmark four. Oh, I hope I know what I'm doing here. Okay, stuff those away for sure. Uh, I may have to go into the uh, into the Nether for more of that. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm not sure. Hope this is enough. Just need enough to get my Twinite started, and then I can actually make the seeds, and then we can go crazy. So, in the meantime, however, we can do one. Because Dragon... Dragon Steel is, uh, one, one to one? Yeah, it's one to one. Alright. Okay, so I can actually just make the Dragon Steel right now, so let's do that. Um... That needs appetite and uh, dragon breath. We have enough to do as much as we need, so we'll do two. Because that's what I need. Okay. Put that away. Okay, two dragon steel yet. Uh, make those into plates, please. Quest completed. Dragon steel plate. I need an elite control circuit. I also need an Endurium plate for a tech tesseract. Uh, do I have any Endurium left? Eight. Let's make one Endurium plate. I actually have Tesseract from that quest reward. Aha! How about that? Alright, um... Mm, arranged 12. Do, is that necessary? Yes, it is. Oh, that's not too bad. Emerald ranges. I'll have to set up a silicon... I'll have to set up a silicon maker. And we'll pull the extra pink slime out of here and do the thing with it. That's no big deal. Um, let's click a button because we got a lot of these Endearing Mage bags to select from. Because that's a lot of useful things. Uh, Endearing ingots, more Tesseracts, refined ingots, that's useful. We got some more K-frames. We got another solar panel, which is good supplement supplementation. Freebies are free. I am not complaining about free solar power. So these are solar sevens that I just got for free, which are amusing that I got those for free, honestly. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, see, that was a quest. That makes two, so where's the other one? Oh! Did I upgrade those even further? No, I didn't. So where's the extra solar panel? There should be one more. Where did I put it? That's strange. Where did I put that quest? Oh, you know what? I must have gotten it as a quest reward as well. Uh, I don't think I remember actually making one of these things. It was uh, Dragon's Breath, right? So I didn't even make one. And the photovoltaic cells requires blocks of endurium. I probably didn't make this one. That's fine. I'm not actually using this as a solar source of energy generation. It's just a supplementation right now. Because it's only 8,000 RF per tick. I'd say only. Um, this little tiny setup here, this generator, uh, burns a tiny amount, but it can generate up to uh, like 20 or 30,000 RF per tick. Something like that. Okay. You produce like 20 or 30 RF per tick. 20 or 30 thousand RF per tick um, and I'm generating more ethylene than I'm consuming right now so it's gonna take a lot for me to actually burn it all up 
And it works at night, which is kind of useful. So there's that. Molten Dragon Steel. So there are... There is Molten Dragon Steel, but there's no way to actually make it, which is cute. Dragon Steel Infused. Make Dragon Steel RF coils. Wow, why would I even do that? Plus one. Oh my god. Alright, that's a thing. I cannot make Dragon Steel Flux linkage. I can make high flux RF coils, but that's it, eh? Creative RF coil. So we're uh, we're reaching super crazy. We're reaching the super tiers. Um, I'm almost at the point where I can make uh, solar generators, and then the solar generators will do crazy good things. Um, useful, useful things, I should say. Uh, with a good with a good solar generator setup, I can. Uh, with a good solar, or what am I saying, good solar, with a good R uh, ME system set up, I should be quite solid here, but it does mean I'm going to have to make myself some more ME controllers. Because I only have the one block right now, which is limited in the number of uh, bits that I can do. But it's not as hard to make an ME controller as I wanted it to be, as it used to be. So... We can do that later. Uh, in the meantime, let's make Twinite so we can get uh, Netherite started. I I'm really, really, really keen on getting that started. Alright, so Elite Control Circuit. We'll worry about upgrading my machine later as well. So give me just one of these. We're actually literally just doing one so we can make the Twinite. Right. So in order to make Twinite, I need a Solar Neutron Activator. The PRC I have. Uh, chemical crystallizer, and I have a condensator. I just need to make another one. Magma crucible, and I can do that. Okay, that takes another machine frame, so I will have to make some more machine frames in a minute. But we'll be okay in that case. Uh, I need two of these supreme machine frames, right? Bare minimum two. That means I need a second one of these. Ugh, alright. Uh, netherite, please. Do I have enough? Maybe. I hope I have enough. I may have to go revive the dragon and get more breath. There's no easy way to do breath. So we've got two of those, which is what I needed. So I need to make an advanced electronic component, which is some of those duraplasts, some vacuum tubes, and aluminum wire. Alright, aluminum wire. It should be relatively easy, because I can just make the aluminum in the thing. So let's just grab a stack of aluminum, make them into aluminum plates, which should work in here. Yeah, okay. Can I make a... No, I cannot make a wire die. That would be neat if I could do that. But no. Okay. Um, we'll make my rolling machine do the thing. We'll slap down some rolling machine and make some extra aluminum wire. That's going to make two stacks. That's fine. Um, I need... I actually need two of these. So let's make some vacuum tubes. Which is nickel plates. Cook up a whole stack of nickel. And the aluminium. We'll throw in the rolling machine like right now, because there's no harm in it. I missed. There we go. Okay, and then we go nickel. 
And then we go copper, glass, regular glass, and what else was it for vacuum tubes? Um, redstone. Just make a bunch. It's fine. And we got a bunch of extra vacuum tubes if I need it. Give me the glass and stuff. Did you do that actually? Thanks. Okay, something is feeding Iridium. Something is feeding Iridium into this obsidian furnace, and I think it's this. We're not getting a lot of it, but we're feeding some Iridium in here. Given that I'm not... There is no value to it. So I'll just slap a Void upgrade on there. Uh, I feel like 2,000 Iridium is plenty. Uh, and if I need it, I can cook it. I I don't think I'm gonna need it. Right from that one quest that says have 64 iridium does nothing. So we'll just I'll just stick a void upgrade on that drawer and we'll just start deleting the raw ore instead, which is fine. Iridium exists, but I don't care. Okay, so we need some duraplast. And we have crafting components, we just need a wire and some vacuum tubes, so let's go get those. Let that thing do its own. We're just gonna make a bunch of these if I can. Oh, I need the Duraplast. Uh, give me a stack of Duraplast, I got a bunch, did I not? Oh, I put it in the storage. Um, Alright, well, we can put the extra wires away. What happened to my Duraplast? There it is. Duroplast, not Duraplast, excuse me. Uh, and I need some... Um... Oops, electron tubes. Vacuum tubes. Just make me a bunch. Look, we have advanced components. I'm only going to take two for now, but we can do lots of those later. Alright, I will need cocoa beans, because apparently we need chocolate buckets. Right, because we have to apparently deploy bars of chocolate on this stuff. So we got milk buckets. I can grab another milk. And let's make another cow in a jar. Actually, wait. Venti milk bucket. We can make, uh, we can just collect milk. It exists as a forage fluid now. Uh, and we can collect it with a animal rancher from cows. Uh, speaking of animal rancher, I should, uh, do something about that. Um, how hard is it to make an animal rancher? Oh, it is a pity machine frame? We're doing that. I got a cool idea with this animal rancher thing. <laughs> this is gonna be dumb. Alright. Uh, we need to make a few of these. We're gonna start with one animal rancher. Because I want to see if uh, method works first. Give me a stack of gold in this thing with the gear die. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Um, okay, uh, I need to grab some cows. And we need to make some like upgrades for this thing, but we'll get to that in a second here. I want... 
Uh, some construction blocks. Glass would work, I think. But I would like it to be some kind of specialty glass that doesn't break. I don't want reactor glass, that's a bit much. Uh, windows from Create. Amolite glass, which is cute. Barrel Flare Lantern, which would be nice. Glass Owl Torch from additional lights. Stained glass, dark tank, reactor fuel rods, charging station, filter, crystal chest. What kind of glass can we do? Reactor glass? Uh, willow window. Huh. Shield templates. Structural glass. I want to avoid structural glass. Port. Uh, fuel rods, stained glass. You got anything kind of fancy glass? You can make black string curtains from the Bumble Zone. Why not? Do, 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 do. <laughs> of course you can make compressed glass! Why would you not be able to make compressed glass? Processor glass. Pressure chamber glass. Uh, ornate iron window. Framed glass? Requires block cutting, but I can do it. The other kind of framed glass from Quark. I just want to make a one-by-one one box. I'm making a, a, a compression farm for cows, but I don't particularly care to, uh, to kill them. I just want to ranch them. I want their milk. Uh, I don't have to worry about this for anything else. For sheep, I might care. Um, but there's a there's a there's a way to deal with this with sheep. Uh, and plus, I think there's an easier way to make string in massive quantities. Uh, sheep seeds, for example! Which I'll have to do anyway, so I guess we'll just make a little bit of this cork framed glass. Because it's not too hard to make. And we'll grab some random cobblestone in case, because I think this stuff might break. Uh, we have an electrical cable rolling around somewhere over here. Did I give you the, uh... I don't think I gave you the cooking upgrade, did I? Look! Deluxe cheeseburgers! Look at all them deluxe cheeseburgers! Oh, also, I'm gonna just take all of those. As it turns out, I need bars of chocolate. Uh, I need to make bars of chocolate. Haha, <laughs> as it turns out. Okay, so this is what's going to need a blaze burner. Because so we're going to need milk, we're going to need cocoa beans, and sugar. All three of those are relatively easy to do. It's the cows that is the least easy to do. I'm not even going to need all that much. I could just get away with using a cow in a jar, I guess. But I want to do an animal rancher anyways, because this, this farm over there is kind of a mess anyways. Uh, if I get the cows, there's a breed a shitload of sheep. Sorry, I'll breed, breed a buttload of sheep in here, because there's some sheep, but I'll, I'll just breed a crap load more. Actually, there doesn't seem to be all that many sheep in here. What happened to all my sheep? Where did all my sheep go? I only see one. What happened to the rest? Nope, that's a pig. I don't have any sheep in here.
Never mind. Let's just make a cow in a jar. We'll save the animal rancher for when we want to make a sheep wool farm. Which I think is the easier way to do it. And I'll just have a buttload of sheep and, and a small box full of sand, uh, uh, grass and uh, collect wool. It might be easier to do it that way. I'll have to make... I'll have to go and find some sheep with which to do that with eventually first, though. So, until then, uh, we'll grab... I need cow in a jar. So let's collect the bits we need for that. Oh, um... Milk jar. Excuse me while I make a bucket. We'll collect a bucket of milk. And instead of milking the cow, because I feel like that's a thing, I'm going to just... Press completed milk bucket. Gee. Okay, where's my anvil? Do I have an anvil in here? I do not. I have an anvil in here. Oop. Alright. Um, cow. Yoink. Stay. Stay. Thank you. What the? It says my chat was disconnected from my bot. I don't like this. Is that my internet? No, my stream says it's live. Um, I seem to be okay, but my bot is being goofy. Let me restart that and see if that makes any difference. Please try again. There we go. I'm going to slap that in there for now. Uh, milk jar. We need cocoa beans. We have actually several stacks of cocoa beans, but... I think we can grow that in a botany pot oh, as long as we have some jungle wood in there. Oh, though I do wonder, does it grow any faster on anything better? No, it doesn't matter. Alright. Ta-da! I really only needed one. That's fine. We'll grab a botany pot, wherever it seems to have got to. We'll grab a drawer. I believe this one varies. This one only makes one. Yeah, only makes one output. And we don't care if it stops when it fills, because we don't care about that. So that's okay. Uh, uh, we do need to be relatively close to this, so that we can make the chocolate. And we'll need one of my blaze burners, and we're gonna... Blaze banner. Now, what can we feed a blaze burner just to keep it heated? We don't care about anything else. Oil, lava, ethanol, um, oil, creosote, light oil, tree oil, oh, excuse me, plant oil. Let's just do lava, I guess. Lava seems like a good way to do it. Make another crafter. Just a basic one. Ugh, I love that we need supreme blocks for that, though. Hopefully I won't need too many of these. We're going to make a very simple... This is a very simple uh, lava generator. Just pop 
pop this and this in there and it'll put my uh, my blocks back. Okay, so that's the cocoa beans. Need a piece of sand and some sugar cane. Grow that too. Uh, we'll grab a second pot and we can grow that. Okay, and we'll need another drawer for that. Thank you. Okay, we've got a crafter to make lava for the mixer. And the milk itself will do its own thing, so that's also fine. Uh, output, output, output. I just need some pipes. So we need pipe, pipe. I think we're good. Oh, um... I need to make a straw, hang on. Uh, which means I need bamboo, which is not too hard to do. Just need one, right? Yeah. Good thing I got a rolling machine now! Look! It's a straw! Alright, and we need a basin and a mixer. We need a mechanical mixer. Not hard, just takes a whisk. And we need a compacting machine. We need a mechanical press. And I imagine this might actually overload the stuff. Um, and we'll need two basins. Why two, you ask? One to mix with and one to squish in. Alright, uh, let me grab my create stuff. I need some cogs. I need some shafts. I need a gearbox. I think that's everything I need. I think this is the extent of the assembly lines I'm going to need as well. Let's just draw one line off of here. And we go mechanical press. Then, uh, liquid pipe. Oops, wrong spot for basin. Basin there. Oh, I don't even need because it will pour. It will pour for me. Good. Yes. Uh, this will need a mechanical mixer. Oh, this one's in the right spot. Yes, it does. Perfect. All right. And then we go two cog wheels and a vertical gearbox. Spinning. They are spinning. Okay, and then we put a blaze burner down here, feed it a straw. Aha! You look weird when you have the straw and you're quelled. Alright, ender tank, or ender chest, I think, actually, and uh, we're probably going to want to run an electrical cable all the way over here. Uh, or, I got a better idea, we'll do it over here. We'll use this tank for that. Something pulled up a piece of dirt. It might have been me. Okay, so there's some electrical right there, so we'll just connect one more wire. Right? Simple enough. Crafter goes right down there. Fast mode. Uh, I'll give you some buckets, it's fine. Um, can I... I don't think this auto extracts, that's fine. Uh, so we'll just set up some item pipes. Give me a wrench. 
Wrench? Wrench. If you're wondering what that was, I'm trying to see if I can re-disable this. But it looks like I can't, so it's fine though. So do that. Put this tank here. Put this here. Put this here. And then we need to extract uh, a specifically fire essence and only fire essence. But I also need to remember a uh, spot for uh, five buckets. Why five buckets? It's a very specific reason. Buckets. I only really need one spot for buckets. Everything else can be the thing, right? And then we're going to go into this recipe and make bucket of lava, or lava bucket, I guess. External... All external, because we want to just make the bucket. And it'll pull the bucket into the tank, and then pull the empty bucket back out, as these tanks are smart enough to do that. And we want five so that we can have four in here, and one standing by in the crafting output. Now I just need grab a stack of that for a sec and just do this. I'm aware that it is going to be weird. Um, right, it's being weird because it's grabbing things. I want to go. Please pause. This is fine. I want you to remember specifically... I want you to remember specifically these slots. And the reason for that is because then I can pull directly from here. And then I don't have to worry about filtering it. And then it just pulls. So as it grows, it pulls. As it fills, it goes. And then we just have infinite lava from the fire essence. Eventually, this will stack up to 64 buckets of lava. And then we'll be good to go. And I don't care. Um, I will need a speed upgrade on at least one of these. I think it's best just to do both. Like that, and then we can just turn you on. Lava! Okay, and then this pulls from here, which is pulling straight from the singular fire plant that I have in the background here, which is doing its own thing. I'm gonna leave it alone. It doing its thing, I'm gonna ignore it. Uh, we've got you guys connected as well, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> anyways, we've got lava now, which is great, and now we can make some ender tanks for that. It's easier to do it this way, because then there's no electricity involved on the other side. Not that it's hard to get ener uh, uh, energy over there, but it's easier to do it this way, so we need some... We need some compressed obsidian. And we need to make some dyes. Uh, lava is going to be... I think I don't have anything that's triple red yet. Do I have any tanks that are triple red? Uh, I know this is... This was yellow, but it's not anymore. You're brown. That's creosote oil. happened to my other tank? Did I not just make two? Am I blind? What happened to my second tank? Did I accidentally just plonk it inside? Why 
did I put my second creosote? Where did I put my second? Oh. No. Where did I put my um, second ender tank? What did I just do? That's the phenolic resin. Where's my, uh... I'm confused. What happened to my creosote oil tank? 